long here and there's all these and for a while the creeks were like completely dry and now there's like these beautiful creeks and I keep wanting to go down and like you know have a quick dip and that kind of thing but I'm pretty sure I'm in crocodile territory at this stage and that's not a, a kosher thing to do but they're not, I don't think kosher is the right word for that not, it's not the thing. It's not the thing. You can't, you can't just swim in the water holes here. And part of me wants to go down anyways, just because fucking I'd love to see wild crocs. Um, but I also know that that's stupid. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, driving is good. The first couple days I had insane amounts of epiphanies, which at this moment I can't recall any of them. Um, but I'm sure as, as is the way that everything works, that when the time is right, those will formulate. But yeah, a lot of puddle puppies has fell in place. Um, one thing that's been really cool is I've been training one of my apprentices in how to do past life redemptions. And um, and it's been really tripped out because I was taught a technique on how to pass medicine through kin to kin. So at first I passed her my medicines and we exchanged medicines. And she ended up getting like insane prophetic dreams because I work with dreams. And like, like she'd never had before about something that was coming, but she at the time she just didn't know what the heck was going on with the dreams. And then she went to touch her solar panel and it exploded. And so that was really interesting, like affirmation of like what level I'm at. Cause I really didn't think, you know, she's, she's already connected with her guides and does a variety of healing work herself. So I didn't think it was that big of a jump, but you know, even just the other day checking in with, or just this morning checking in with a different healer um, you know, from the last time we spoke, she, you know, it was like, she's like, oh yeah, what's going on? And I was like, oh yeah, this attack, that attack, healed this, got this done, got this work done, this work done. Oh wait, I haven't spoken to you since this attack that happened. And then I had this work done to heal and like this and that. And, uh, but yeah. And then when I trained my apprentice, um, was doing a one for me, cause I could feel that there was one on the surface for me. There's a couple right now. So we've gotten two of them so far, but these days my past lives come down in clumps and um, and yeah it's just it's always 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 ongoing like it's just so tripped out how much there is more to learn always but anyway, which way she ended up sleeping for 14 hours after doing a past life redemption that I sometimes can do a couple in a week but I've been regulating myself to um, to do one a week right now because they just they do they do tire me in a way that um, you know, I, I never really had a graph for because I do more in depth than my mentor did. And I cross pollinate a variety of Eurasian shamanic techniques and, and things like this. So the, the readings are bigger, more expansive than what my mentor would do. And I deal with things that my mentor didn't know how to deal with. Um, my mentor in past life redemptions, that is. And um, yeah, so I've never really had like a gauge of like how much energy, like why is it so fucking tiring? And so it was really uh, affirming in this hilarious way that she slept for 14 hours after doing the first one. Um, so, yeah, just tripping out, tripping out, want to go for a swim, it's fucking hot. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm in croc territory now, which means no swimming in unmarked water holes, and even then you got to be aware, which is pretty hilarious. Found an echidna on the road this morning, so that was really beautiful. Um, and a beautiful gift so did a ceremony for that and as I drive I I move sometimes I physically move roadkill but most of the time I just move the spirits and uh, yeah yeah and it's been this whole trip this entire trip has been this exercise in faith and even before I came it was been this exercise in faith where I can't see beyond at first it was like a month um, kind of thing and then it was like not allowed to see further than two weeks just have to trust that we got you and it's it's drained my fucking bank account twice um you're ripping through this scarcity model that i'm trying to get over and just know that yeah that i fucking am abundant as fuck um so yeah so it's drained my account twice over and i'm at a point right now where you know we're all right we'll be good and you know things are coming in so it'll be great in the long run but it's this funny um, old model of like, ah, what does that mean if everything, if I only have $200 and I still have a long fucking time here? Um, but yeah, just plowing through that. Uh, my cousin moved, did a hypnotherapy session with me before I went to Bali around that. 
and um, and then yeah, at this stage, what this trip is about is I literally am not allowed to see more than two steps in front of me. And so it's this funny, like, I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna sleep. And then it's like, yeah, but you just have to go, you gotta go to that bookstore. There's a brown book with gold writing that has a story in it that you need to read. Um, so found the brown book, so that was good. And uh, and you gotta get a coffee. And I'm like trying to get this coffee and I'm just like, fucking my man. And then I get the coffee and then boom, got a, my next place to sleep. I'm like, oh, okay, there we go. And then I'm like, all right, I, oh, I need to get Avertine because I have to do this bath in a couple of days with particular series of crystals, which I have most of, but I didn't have any Avertine. So then I was trying to find a crystal shop and I'm not finding any crystal shops. And then I got confused and, uh, and I turned I turned into the right lane at one stage and was like, why is that guy like, you know, going the wrong way on this? He's in the wrong side of the turning lane. And I totally squeezed past him and parked and then was like confused on my way back to the vehicle about why he was in the wrong lane and then I realized I was the one who was in the wrong fucking lane and I totally turned like squished past him in this fucking lane that was his lane and that I should have gone past him and yeah so it was just a really funny moment of realizing like oh actually that was me and uh and I still have some odd times Canadian it's only when I go to turn when I go to leave places or when I go to turn that I have to kind of recalibrate that we're driving on the other side of the road. So that was pretty fucking funny. And I, I tried, uh, yeah, I was like, why am I stopped here? Like, I think I'm here for this. And like, and then, yeah, and then I was just about out of town just being like, hey, fuck it. I'm just fucking ripping. Like, let's get, let's get going here. And then I found a crystal shop, of course. And so I got my Abertine and I got a couple of the stones that I need to have the bath with um, that I already have, but these are nicer versions of them. And then home it was really cute, um, just telling me about how, uh, how every, like, she was just startled that everything that I got was green, um, except for one yellowish mukite that has a dugong in the middle of it, and then, uh, and, uh, rose quartz. And then I did get this one that I don't, I've never met it before, it's, um, I'm not even sure of its name, but it's in the Galena family, which, which I'm very much love Galena, and I'm very much Galena in my state of um, flowing mineral form, or at least I was years ago. It'd be kind of interesting to check in now to see if I'm still Galena, if I'll always be Galena, or if, if I'm now something else. Um, yeah, so if anybody gets a bang on that one, when they're, if they watch this and they're like, oh, you're no longer Galena, you're something else now, um, sweet, pass that along. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm Galena still. I think it's just in my core, flowing Galena. Um, yeah, so it's just been a trip. It's been beautiful. Uh, the fucking countryside is... We're getting into, like, farm country now. I was just in some construction zone. Going slow. And, uh, yeah, and just buttering away, getting along. And it's just this fucking hilarious tests and fate of, like, we blindfold you, you can't see, except our two steps. And then... And you know, I just gotta trust and ask for what I need and then get what I'm told to get and duck in trust and move along and, and yeah, and it's this funny funny just faith exercises, which has been constant this whole trip, this fucking life journey over on this land, I guess, more so than a trip it's turning out to be, um, has been all about this crazy crazy faith I have to have and it's been so many tests and so uncomfortable at different times because I I like to see I like it I like to see and I like to know what the fuck and I like to know security wise and I guess that's an aspect of desire control and I'm just in this massive like let go fucking fall into faith surrender completely we fucking got you like, nobody's fucking business. You're fucking hardcore, next level, fucking being initiated in a bunch of things, though. So I'm just a fucking baby dragon, fucking getting thrown all these fucking things. And then learning out after what I was asked to do. And, and then, yeah, having some regrets sometimes on certain things. Because I'm like, oh, shit, I could have listened differently, maybe, in that moment. Um, but it's all just deepening how to listen. And who do I listen to? And calling in the light, calling in my light mentors, you know, like, um, 
just really reflecting on like a lot of my mentorships and my mentors and, and the gray, you know, how many gray workers have taught me many, many, many beautiful things and things about the dark because you don't know what you don't know until you know it and the dark is going to fucking come at you. So you do need to know things about the dark when you start really fighting for the light because they fucking come for you like nobody's business. And we're at the war of the worlds right now. Like it's fucking serious fucking war in the spiritual plane and we can step out of it. So some days I wonder if I should be battling and so I do a lot more of a healing of the, the beings these days and I kind of, I just fucking got the epiphany on how to adjust um, something that I struggled with within the holographic kinetics but uh, and yeah, it came this morning though about how when you blast them into the dimension to experience the karma to then push them to be neutral um, and willing to be neutral, that actually, why don't we just pop them into a dimension where they get fucking healed and they just boom, fully fucking healed and then we bring them back and talk to them and see how they're doing once they've been healed. Because shit, man, in the quantum field, we can fucking ask for anything. It's like, boom, it's super fast, super easy. So that came through. So that makes me feel like, yeah, okay, I got this. This different way of working with this modality, and that's going to be the primary shift that I do in calibrating how I conduct my process with, with the, that modality kind of thing. Um, yeah, so yeah, just tons of epiphanies. And I really wish I could remember some of them like, so the first two days shit they were good I was like oh I need to fucking make a video about that and then I, I didn't and I was like I'll remember when I need to which again I will when I need to because that's just how my memory works I remember <laughs> I remember a fuck of a lot but I also I forget things in this funny way where it's like I'm like huh? you need to remind me of that first but it's because I, I just am always collecting data so I guess sometimes it just gets overwhelmed and it just doesn't have space but if you remind me if you remind me of what's going on usually I can bring back like the entire conversation what you were wearing um, things like that once you remind me of what the memory is and um, yeah yeah just just fucking beautiful this life is hilarious and I'm in this ridiculous two steps ahead only um, Comfort, I guess we won't we won't call it. it. It's great because I fucking know, and I know that it's, I'm working on alignment right now. So it's like all to do with being so clear with my word, being so clear with my values, speaking my truth when something's uncomfortable, um, and yeah, moving away from things that make me feel uncomfortable or sick or you know, and really not not settling for less. And, uh, and every time I feel funny about something, but then I finally just make that decision that it's like, that's a fucking no, um, then boom, the light shows up and the space is there. So it's definitely in me uh, about this, like, this walk that has gone on, which was like a compassion with demons, but also a not compassion with demons, where I was furious with them for a while and I wasn't compassionate and I fucking was angry at what they had done to me and my fucking twin flame keeping us from the divine love that can heal the fucking universe when it comes together and I was furious for a long time and but now it's yeah it's just softening into like that I am a woman of compassion I am a fucking yeah humongous humongous even bigger than humongous body of compassion and when I do someone asked me recently who it is that I that I speak to and, uh, and it's a very instinctual th process for me to talk to the Holy Compassionate Divine. Um, that, that to me is the council. That's the one that you, that's, that's who you want to fucking talk to. You know, because you can, if you work with like Wutong Hanuman, um, he is the truth. He's not the heart. So he sees the truth of the demon and he slays the demon. But then the monk whose truth is centered in heart, pissed off at him, even though he just saved him, right? So it's this interesting process though of the warrior coming to understand complete compassion even for the enemy and um, yeah so I'm just just fucking loving you know just loving just love it just have faith just fucking heal your shit up as best as you can been really ungrounded and knowing it and just been given some grounding exercises to do so trying to do that and, 
but I have resistance. There's just, there's a lot of tears in my body still. And so I have a lot more fun just hanging out in the other dimensions and in the other realities. Um, but I do like feeding the horse and I do like tending the horse and it's better when the horse is, and that's what I'm in right now. It's just this self-love confidence, doing the things that I need to do. This morning, dugongs let me know that I need to eat pretty vegetarian for this next bit. That's a struggle for me because I really want some fucking seafood. And I find meat really grounding. But the dugongs are really gentle and they're vegetarian and they're monogamous and they they really want to work with me right now around the love stuff. And one aspect of that is I need to eat some grass. Eat a lot of grass. So, yeah. And then echidna, fucking so beautiful. So blessed and honored to to have echidna show up this morning and remind me how heavily that medicine is with me and to deepen my connection to that medicine and how that, that medicine that is that is fucking hugely with me right now and um, yeah just fucking so funny so funny my desire to know comfort and support is definitely there and I know it's all coming I have, you know I just have to do the alignment thing of really getting getting straight with what the heck is going on and right now I just need to get to the fucking dang tree and receive from all these random fucking humans that don't know me and just allow them to give to me and it's been really funny because I'm like oh I should cook dinner I should help I should but then they've just been like no no go lay down rest nap fucking we'll make dinner we'll make breakfast we'll take care of you and it's just been like wow Okay, I'm really uncomfortable with receiving. I'm so used to giving. I'm so not comfortable with this receiving, but that's my lesson right now too. It's just like opening up to receiving all the beautiful things that I deserve because of all the good and the giving that I do unconditionally releasing on this path. And um, But then also keeping energy for myself um, was a big one. Oh, this is getting long. This is really long. If anybody actually stays to the end, great. <laughs> If you don't, whatever. Talk to you later.